Dr. Disney, you are now recognized. Thank you. Today, I hope to raise some simple questions about CEO compensation. Does a CEO's pay have any relationship to what his hotel maids and janitors get? Do the people who spend a lifetime at the lowest end of the wage spectrum deserve the dignity of a living wage? This is a moral issue. The burden is not just on Disney, and Disney is a long way from being the worst offender. Disney could tomorrow raise the salaries of all of its workers to a living wage. It was possible to do this when my great uncle and grandfather built the company. It's possible now. People made this problem, and by people, it can be fixed. Thank you. The gentleman from Indiana is now recognized. Uh -huh. Well, Dr. Disney, I, I heard you several times say what CEO pay should be, what living wage should be, up and down the spectrum, sea to shining sea. That is, we have a definition of that. That is socialism. Here we go. We socialism. know what that is. This idea that a company exists solely to maximize profits, and that is simply not true. Companies have moral obligations to their employees. If you don't want to call this socialism, I suppose you can call it Marxism, neo-Marxism. It certainly isn't the path that made our country the world's land of opportunity. The reality is the entire American workforce is benefiting from this era of prosperity. 